Making beats like Ripscotter and Kiriano is really super easy, let me show you how. I really like to start with the piano sound. This soft and tiny preset is really cool when it comes to Nexus pianos. And I like to start my melody with a very simple chord progression. This is a very classic one. I just make a very simple, repetitive and happy sounding melody on top. The trick for these nice, glitchy sounding uh, Ripscord and Kiriano melodies is gross beat. And this gross beat preset will make the piano sound like this. If you watch my tutorials, you'll know that I really like layering uh, pads with my pianos and just main melodies. So we have the piano melody copied onto a pad sound from Purity. Notice how this pad sounds really like sort of icy and crystally. And it also sounds kind of glitchy, kind of like rib squatty glitchy, and that's because we added this gross beat preset. If you go to presets, and then to pitch shifter, then if you set it to zero, you're just gonna have the D-click, like, volume thing, right? And it's just gonna sound like, kind of choppy, kind of clicky. And that's what we want, because it sounds like rib squad. It's also a nice idea to layer your chords with something like this spire plug here. It makes the melody sound more full and also emphasizes the chord progression, so listen to this. And with the piano. Okay, so it gives the melody like more space. It's more like spacious and full sounding and also emphasizes the chord progression which kind of makes the melody more emotional so that's a really cool tip to make the melody even more full sounding and atmospheric i layered another pad also from purity and it's called the winter pad notice this very characteristic uh gross beat volume pattern Okay, so that's something that's really often used in Ivy League beats and like rib squad stuff. And we also have a little gross beat preset here that kind of slows it down. It just makes it half time. And here's a very cool a sort of melody idea, melody pattern. You can use sign plugs. I used a sign plug from uh, Nexus and it's like a very nice sign plug with Big Crush on it. Also combined with uh, a lot of delay. So listen to this. Doesn't that just sound beautiful and like so crazy? Overall, sign plugs and sign leads are like the pinnacle of Ivy League sound design. <laughs> and of course, it wouldn't be a Rip Scott Kiriano beat if it didn't have like a crazy lead. So we're using Serum for the lead. Serum is my absolute go-to when it comes to leads in, in this style of like Kiriano stuff. Obviously, a lot of delay on the lead and my pattern sounds like this. And again, we're going for a very happy sound, major scale kind of thing, and very repetitive. That's really important. So it's repetitive and catchy. Okay, so the only sort of complicated thing is we have these slide notes, right? Here, for example, coming from C to, C to D. Okay, so a great idea for uh, Ivy League and Kiriano leads is to have them like slidey, they like glidey, you know? It gives it a lot of the Ivy League sort of feeling. So a way you can do that in Serum is just by enabling the mono here, uh, and also boosting up the portamento, but it's basically the length of the slide, right? Also, Extasane made us a cool piano pattern for the beat. The piano came from the VST face plant, and the pattern sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
So it's just a very simple, repetitive, again, repetitive, that's really important, repetitive, happy sounding piano melody, very similar to what we did at the beginning. And it just helps to fill up the space, just make it a little bit more melodic, right? A little bit more atmospheric, if you will. Obviously a very simple re sound is, is cool to have. So just one here uh, that's following the chord progression. In our full melody sounds like this. So notice how maybe all of the melodies on their own are really repetitive and maybe sort of boring. When they all come together, it just sounds really nice and atmospheric and full. Of course, the beat will not be complete without some drums. So we have a very simple hi-hat pattern here. A very basic open hat pattern. Just giving the just giving the drums a little bit more bounce. Very simple clap pattern. Okay, so the drums are supposed to be really simple. We're not going for anything complicated, which is going for a nice bounce. Very simple snare pattern, again, very simple. Some chants to give the drums a little bit more bounce and also make it a little bit more full. A little perk sound that's actually like a sort of a laser sound again giving the drums a little bit more bounce and the triangle perk sound which is really often used in rib squat beats for the 808s we use a very classic very classic uh kiriano 808 also called the long plug 808. In a simple kick pattern. In what is really cool practice for like atmospheric Kiriano rim squad beats is side chaining the kick to the 808. So the kick gets routed to, to the 808 track like this, side chain to this track. And then a fruity limiter plugin is picking that up. So sidechain right click here and select your kick. And I usually go for settings like these. So just copy the threshold ratio and the release. And it sounds really nice for me. So same for the melody, sidechain to the melody bus. So every every single melody track is on the insert line here. The limiter that's here has very similar settings, but the threshold is a little bit higher. So the sidechain isn't as strong. And also the right click, select your kick. And the whole drum pattern should sound something like this. Okay, so very simple sort of linear bounce. Just cool trap drums. Just cool simple trap drums with the 808 being sort of like plug and yeah, plug, I guess. For some special effects, since we are talking atmospheric, Kiriano and Rip Squad beats, I really like to add ambience or ambience and by the way if you're wondering where you can get such sounds from all of the ones i usually use are from the winter night kit so you have a ton of melody presets here mainly for serum spire and atmosphere you have a lot of gross beat presets you have all the drums you need for for such rip squad kiriano beats and also a lot of ambient sounds and a bunch a bunch of transitions and risers just to make your beats sound more atmospheric so if you want to support me if you believe that my tutorials are valuable then you can check out the first link in the description and just see if the kit maybe is for you you know cicadas ambience So I really like incorporating uh, nature sounds into my beats and especially when they're like on the beginning, it just makes it sound so much cooler. When you have some like nature stuff going on, it's just so much more atmospheric and lively. Lively is the great word, yeah. Of course we cannot forget risers. So we're talking Rip Squad, Kiriano, Ivy League and we kind of want risers that sound like icy crystally. It's really hard to describe but when you hear this riser you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Like the end of this riser just sounds like some some crystals falling out from the sky. And also transitions like these are very nice, so listen to something like that. 
So like swoosh sound effects and listen to how it sounds like with context. It just gives so much more atmosphere and this sort of liveliness to the beat. I strongly believe that the arrangement doesn't like really really matter when it comes to like if the verse and hook are like 16 bars or like 8 or 32. I believe as long as you're like incorporating new sounds and sort of like switching it up every 8 bars I think, then your arrangement is good. So notice here we have 8 bars of the intro. Then some plucks and pads come in together with the Reese on the next 8 bars, uh, together with the transition. And then a pluck comes in and all of the drums, together with the transitions again. And then there's a pause in the hi-hats and in the 808s, and then the kick comes in uh, in the lead. And then there's 16 bars of that sort of drop, so everything, everything all at once. And then there's a pause in the hi-hats, and all of the sounds sort of stop, and there's only like the piano and pad, and then shortly after, the, all of the drums co come in again. Okay, so there's a really cool contrast. So everything at once, and then just the piano and pad. So it's really atmospheric. And then uh, the second clap comes in, so we skip the first clap. The second clap comes in, and then the drums. And then the verse continues, next 8 bars introduce the kick uh, and the plug, uh, then the next 8 bars introduce the open hat uh, as well as the sign plug, and then there's a more melodic part where the drums don't really play, we just have the melody and the reese. Like so, and then some of the drums come in. And then we have all of the drums with the kick and 808 right there. And drop. So a really cool trick is to have like a pause in the 808s, so like a late drop, the kick and hats and everything else is playing, and then the 808 comes in like kind of randomly, but it sounds really nice, so... This is kind of unexpected, but it like comes in really hard. And also, together with the transition, that's kind of the light, so this transition right here. And then at the end, there's that contrast again, where everything is playing, and then practically nothing is playing, so like... So just the pluck in, and the face plant piano. And just fading out into nothingness. That's so beautiful. I absolutely love when beats just end like that, just slowly fading out into nothingness with a very quiet, beautiful sound, like, like the sign pluck and the piano. And that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, if you want to get the sounds used in this video, then uh, I encourage you to check out the Winter Night Kit. Many people are very happy with the kit and even told me that it's a game changer for them. And chances are, if you clicked on this video and want to learn how to make like Rips Cord and Kiriano beats, then there's a big chance that this kit is for you and it could be your new go-to. Also, I want to say huge thank you to Extasane. He was a huge help in making the beat for today's video and especially making the melodies. He's definitely Definitely one of my favorite uh, producers on YouTube when it comes to Kiriano beats. I get inspired a lot by his style of beats. And chances are, if you like Rips Quoted Kiriano beats, you're gonna love his beats as well. So I also leave the link in the description to his channel. Thank you so much for staying to the end. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you very soon.